Hello Cancer, my name is Agatha and this is the tarot reading for you for the month of January uh, 2019. This is a very general reading. If you like your own personal consultation, please uh, write to duniazada.gmail.com. This month I'm going to use the star tarot and this is going to be a four card reading for each one of the weeks. Also there's a um, advice card that I took from the mystical wisdom card deck and we are going to start with the advice for you. Cancer for the month of January 2019 and you have Dragon, discover your courage. Dragon, discover your courage. So this is, uh, this is really, uh, you know, that's the advice for you to discover your courage, your inner courage and your outside courage, you know, Cancer. Uh, also, Dragon, if you were born on the year of the Dragon, this message, I would say, is really relevant for you. Cancer for the month of January 2019. So the first week, uh, and there's two major arcana cards in this uh, in this spread. So uh, I would say that maybe for about half of you, the month of January 2019, it's going to be a very important month. So in the first week, the card that you got was the Emperor. The Emperor is connected with the sign of Aries, uh, Cancer. So if you have a combo of Aries and Cancer, this reading is really important for you. This is um, this is most most appropriately for you. If you have that, you know, could we have could we have the Sun in Cancer and you can have the Moon in Aries or the Rising sign in Aries or something important in Aries. So in the beginning of the month or in the first week, uh, for some of you there's stability. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, everything is stable in your work environment, in your family environment. If it's not that, if this represents someone else, uh, you might be having a conflict with someone who has an Aries sign. So this could be your, your boss, this could be someone in your family, this could be uh, even, your, even your spouse, uh, your boyfriend, because this is a very male type of energy. And this person is, you know, this person is stable. Uh, and this person has great power. This person is a leader. This person is used to being the boss. You know, uh, they're not very emotionally, uh, like emotionally speaking, they're not really quite there. They are much more logical um, and rational type of energy. They are the sort of people who like rules and regulations because that's how you get to be on top. Uh, this could even be, uh, if this is not a leader or your boss, this person might be connected with armed forces or he or she, I'm saying he or she could be, again, could be a woman, uh, could be a policeman or a policewoman. So you might ha be having trouble with the authorities or you might have be having some sort of conflict with someone like this in the beginning of the of January. In the second week, you have the Five of Wands. So this conflict might only appear on the second week. The Five of Wands is a card connected with conflict. Now this could be inner conflict and outside conflict. So th this could be, you know, you actually having a conflict with an Aries person or an authority figure in your life, boss uh, or authorities in your life or, or your spouse or uh, there's a conflict, but you don't know how to go about it. There's something that you don't like and you, you want to keep the peace and you're having, you know, inner conflicts because you don't want to have an argument. However, the advice is discover your courage. If there is a conflict in your life in January 2019, Cancer, the whole point of this conflict is for you to discover your courage, for you not to be afraid of expressing yourself, okay? Uh, and again, this could be with your boss, uh, with your work environment. On the third week, you have the King of Pentacles, who again is a leader, uh, who might represent, could be a man or a woman, because this is a very general reading, uh, in his or her late 30s or after the age of 40, from a Earth, Psy, Virgo, Capricorn uh, or Taurus. I'm thinking that the Emperor and the King of Pentacles are the same person, and they even look alike. So the conflict that you're having is with this sort of person. It could be in your work environment. It might be connected with money. The conflict that you're having is with someone who has a lot of money. Could be a sibling, for instance, or is connected with money, or someone who has a great, uh, you know, wealth and uh, financial stability. The conflict that you might 
be having or want to avoid uh, is in your work environment connected with money. Again, it's fighting over money or resources of some kind. Um, or you might be, uh, you know, having a conflict with your spouse or, you know, uh, or a conflict with the authorities connected with money. You know, something like that. This person is very pragmatic or realistic, very good with money. Um, but again, it, he or she kind of lacks, like, emotionally. Uh, um, they see things from a, a rational and pragmatic and realistic point of view. They don't go to the emotional side. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Then, on the fourth week, you have the High Priestess which is a major arcana card and it's connected with the moon. The, in the moon is ruled by cancer. So I'm thinking it's you showing up here. So your the high priestess is kind of muted. She knows everything. She's very intuitive. She's very intuitive. And um, she's quiet. She's observant. I'm thinking that you are retreating within yourself in order not to have this conflict because having a conflict just really pains you emotionally. However, the advice is discover your courage. The, the whole point of this argument, whatever it is, is for you to discover your courage. Okay. Another way of reading this card is that you've guessed something. You have intuited something about someone, someone in your family, your spouse, uh, your work environment, your boss. You just, you know, you guessed something. You, uh, you've... You know, there's something that you absolutely know because you're kind of psychic, Cancer, and you don't want to bring that up because you know it's going to be causing a conflict, you know. Or there's some sort of secret that will be coming up, and because of this secret that comes up, there will be some sort of, you know, quarrel of, of, the, of any type, okay? So there's many different ways of reading these cards. So that's it, Cancer. This is the reading that I have for you for the month. Of January 2019. It's a very general reading. If you like your own personal consultation, please write to dunyazat at gmail.com and I'd be delighted to work with you. Bye bye.